Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about the overlay concept with DS. So, in data structure, we will use overlay keyword to break down the fields. So, let's see how we can do this. So, here we are writing the code in fully free format. So, first of all, we have declared one data structure. So, my data structure name is data and it is qualified data structure. So, whenever we are going to access these fields, so we have to uh, pass like in this way like data structure name dot your field name now below to that we have declared uh, one field which is timestamp of character 14 so here we will store the complete timestamp so here you can see that we are we have assigned some timestamp to this variable and after that instead of uh, writing it manually we are breaking down with the help of overlay keyword so on line number 13 you can see that year field is of character 4 and then we are using overlay keyword why so what it will do it will pick the it will start the extraction from first position so it will start from first and then as per their length so its length is 4 so it will pick the first four character and it can be considered as a year similarly from fifth position it will take two characters so this will be considered as a month and in same way we will uh, keep extracting the field with the help of overlay keyword so this is very useful feature of data structure so that whenever you want to extract or break down some fields then you can utilize directly the overlay keyword and instead of assigning again and again values to this we are just uh, considering one field as a complete field and then we are breaking down into subfields uh, using the overlay okay so here on last one you can see that it has started from the 13th position and it considered the last two character as a seconds then we are doing nds and here on line number 21 we are assigning uh, some text like timestamp just for the display purpose we are showing this and after that we are displaying the actual timestamp then we are displaying the text as a year and actual year so as we are using the qualified data structure therefore we have to keep it as data dot year so it will print the data here. say likewise it will go for the other option as well or minute seconds and then we are setting the star inlr equals to star on for turning on the last record indicator so if i compile it and call it then we can see the first text is timestamp then it will show the timestamp so this is the complete timestamp then year, complete year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds. So in this way, we can utilize this overlay feature or overlay keyword to extract or to break down the fields into subfields. It is very useful whenever it is required. Like suppose you are extracting this field from some other program, then we are assigning it to the data structure and you want to decide and extract as per the requirement then you can utilize this overlay keyword so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching texture method